top. Or... Hey everybody, this is Captain Rafa. I'm at the Little Harbor Marina in Ruskin. We're here at the Freedom Boat Club Fishing Club. Today we're going to talk about how you can save a little money in your tackle box doing a, a drop jig rig that's very popular and very affordable if you make it yourself and you won't worry about losing them on the reef when you go fishing for sheep's head. You can buy them of course and they come in a package such as this and they, they're about three dollars a package for two. Uh, however, I'm going to show you how to make them for probably less than 30 cents and the rig is not that complicated. You have a swivel at the top, you have a couple of colored beads that are in between uh, usually a, an eighth a quarter ounce or a half ounce or a full ounce sinker and then you have a, a stop here that's a little cleat that you can pinch with a pair of pliers and then of course you have a hook. Now what we're doing is we're getting away from the one eye hook a little bit we're going with a smaller hook because sheep said are crafty little devils and if you're throwing a lot of baits you're losing a lot of baits uh, on the reef. So we're gonna get you to hook up more often. So today I have two ways that you can have leader line. You can buy it in a pre-cut version uh, that's available online or at Bass Pro Shops or something like that. Uh, or you can buy it in, in a roll that you cut your own line. Uh, we have a size 6 hook which is quite small but very effective with the sheep's head. Lots more hookups. You can buy a, a pack of beads. There's 33 in this package for a buck 49. Um, that, that you can buy uh, locally at a little um, marina supply store, fishing supply store that's right behind the McDonald's uh, that you can have, have uh, great access. Some quality number seven weights. Uh, they're usually, this one is about uh, three quarters of an ounce. I kind of like these, the ones that are shaped rather than an egg shape. It's more like a sinker type shape. I think they slide a little better and they don't get um, caught up on the reef as much. So these are like, you get four for a buck. So it's really, really reasonable to, to put this together. So let's start. We're gonna start, um, the only tool that you're gonna need is perhaps an offshore angler, a uh, pair of pliers with a little cutter on it. These are great. Uh, every fisherman should have one. Like off a bit of an emergency, this could perhaps save your life if you get caught up on a rope or something and you need to dislodge it from your belt buckle. So I have my, my pre-cut, just because it's easy. It's a 30 pound test on this particular instance. I'm going to, uh, for, the ease, for the ease of this demonstration, I'm just going to start with a swivel because that, that creates an area where you can have a stop point. So bear with me for a moment. We're just going to attach this by using a traditional, however you tie a hook, you can tie a swivel. Uh, forgive me, I use my teeth a lot. Yes, and my mother told me not to, but that's too bad because I'm just going to disobey so it's easier. Swivel's on. So now, I got this model rig here that I can use. It has a swivel up at the top. I look like I have another stop. I have a bead. I have my weight, another bead. And I'm done, right? So you gotta go bottoms up in the reverse. So I'm gonna need a bead first. All you left-handers, I know I just lost you, because now I'm going in reverse. You just, you just said, wait, what? Do I have to rewind this? Well, go ahead and rewind it. You're good. Uh, let me get a couple beads. I'm kind of a blue and green fan. I'm not big on the orange, but I'm gonna put a uh, green on first. And you can do these any way you want. And then to say everybody will know that you're rigs uh, versus the ones that are coming out of a package that are always using the standard orange. I got my bead. I'm gonna apply my weight. Yet another bead. This time we're using blue. Yeah, we're stylish. We're getting style points here. So, so far so good. We got a swivel, we got a bead, we got a weight, and another bead. Now we can't have this sliding all over the place, not onto our hook. So they make these little sleeve things. These are also extremely inexpensive. You can, I don't know, I think this is a 40 pack that I got for a buck. Um, and that's a, I think it's R and T tackle that's behind that McDonald's there in the flea market. That's a really nice spot. We get that a lot of business. If you mention you're a Freedom Fishing Club member or a Freedom Boat Club member, and if you mention Captain Rafa, they're going to give you an additional 10% off. So don't forget me when you come by the, if you stop at Dunkin' Donuts on the way to the, the dock, don't forget to pick me up a coffee. Alright, so I'm, I'm putting the sleeve on. 
man, that went on easy. And now it's as, it's as loose as loose gets. So this is the easy part. Let's give you, excuse me, let's give yourself about a foot. And then you take that little sleeve, you take it with your crimping tool, and it, even if you were gonna try to cut the line, and as soon as you, as soon as you crimp it, it seizes, it's right in place. So it's pinched right on the line and it, it allows now that weight to move. So think about this for a minute. This is, a t this is tied to a braided line on your, on your fishing rod and reel, right? The weight gets dropped down, it hits the, it hits the bottom, my leg was the bottom, and it sits. All of a sudden that line's able to look free. That, makes, that means your bait, if you're using a live shrimp, has that freedom to move around a whole foot without that weight having an impact on its movement. And also, that sheep's head's not going to feel that weight when it pulls the bait. So as soon as it catches the bait, then of course you got your weight off, off the bottom and you're hooked up. And the only thing left to do is make sure we have a hook on this thing. So you have some success catching the sheep's head on the reef. Number six hook being used. Again, these are very inexpensive. Um, there's, this is a package of, of 10 size six. They're, they might be, might be two bucks, depending on where you're shopping these days. You might want to make sure that you have uh, not an excessive amount of line. So I am gonna, I am gonna trim this up a little bit. It's a little too long for my liking. I have about two feet below that, that crimp piece of aluminum, yes, that we put on already on the line. Bear with me. We're in a little bit of a windy condition today. There we go. So here's my rig. I gotta make sure that I have a good fit and finish because I take pride in what I do, as you will, because you made this rig for about 33 and a half cents. After it would have cost you a buck 50, you're not gonna worry about bringing a half a dozen dozens of these. Look how quickly we did this. You'll be able to do it on a boat, but I suggest you do it the night before so that you don't have to worry about shaking, rattling, and rolling when you're on the reef. And there we go. And in comparison to what you can buy, now I have my own length. I got a customized piece of equipment. I don't have this little curly stuff going on with these rigs. I got a nice straight leader line. My quality leader line is better than what they, you can get in the store. I got a smaller hook to secure myself a higher hookup percentage. I got the color choices. I got my weight choice and I got my swivel choice. All for you guys to try at home. Let me know how you hook up. Cheers.